Hey, thanks for joining us. This is Ethan. Some of you may recognize him from, well, nothing on this channel, I don't think, but on my personal channel. So Ethan on his slack line and his sear wheel. And you do other acrobatic things, right? Yep, I parkour. Parkour. Um, are there injuries associated with parkour? Um, yeah, quite a bit. <laughs> Let's take a look at Ethan's wrist here. Ethan, what? explain to the nice people at home what happened. Um, I was trying to do a precision jump from one rail to another rail and didn't quite make the jump. The bar went right in between my thumb and finger. So let me see if I understand this correctly. Your hand here came down on a stair rail mm -hmm. with all your weight coming down on it, what we call axial loading, and now it hurts where? Right in here. All right, so we're looking at the distal radius here. And when I examined earlier, you were able to move your fingers fine. You had full normal sensation in them. You have good perfusion of blood through all the extremities. So neurovascularly, you're intact, the muscles work. Uh, you don't have tenderness, any significant tenderness here along the uh, carpal bones or the metacarpal bones. But when we get to the radius, it was really tender when I was pushing on it. So on x-ray, we see that your uh, physis or your growth plate is not fused and it's not expected to be at 15 years old. Now there's something that, that can happen there and you can have a fracture through that growth plate and you can't tell on x-ray so we have to treat as if it's broken. So we're going to put on a sugar tong splint, kind of shaped like a sugar tong, goes around and holds the wrist in a certain position until you have time to get into the orthopedic surgeon on Monday. Now, in, uh, I, I suppose it's true everywhere, but in the state of California, they really discourage doctors from treating family or close friends. So I am just putting on a, a splint here. I spoke with the folks in orthopedics and they're gonna see them on Monday and this is just temporary to get them in until then. Uh, that's uh, the extent that I do any treatment on my close family or friends, just what it takes to get them to where they need to be to, so that definitive care by the appropriate specialist can get, be done. So let's get started putting your splint on. We're gonna use ortho glass. I measured earlier and it's very important to seal this up so no air gets in there. Otherwise your splint material gets all hard and unusable. So it's just a soft gauze with very moist fiberglass. It's very pliable. We want to measure again. We want to go from the crease there through the palm to these bones back here. So I'm just barely too long. And the way I'm going to deal with that is to fold this back. We want your elbow at 90 degrees. We're going to bring all this around. And then I want to put this in a position that reduces the fracture the most. So I'm going to be pushing your wrist down in this way. I'm going to get this wet. The hotter the water you use, the faster it hardens. Oh, it's starting to warm up a little bit. So it's already starting to harden. And we want to go with that crease. 90 degree. And bend the extra down. So I will begin wrapping. We wrap from far away from the body toward the body. And usually my assistant is assisting rather than holding a camera. Is it getting hot? It's warm. Yeah. As it hardens, it lets off heat, an exothermic chemical reaction. So then we mold the splint. And this is the part where it hurts. And as it hardens, I go through and make it conform to what I want it to be. I want it to be snug, but not so tight it's going to cut off circulation anywhere. He should not do anything that might put strain on his wrist if he wasn't wearing a splint because mm -hmm. I would strain the splint. Let me get you also a sling that's going to allow you to hold this like this. 
One of the important things when a person wears a sling, we want to make sure that the hand is not below the elbow. So you're gonna be kinda of like this, not like this. That results in a lot of fluid draining to the fingers and not out of the hand. You get swelling and it leads to, it can even lead to injury. So that's Ethan's wrist sprain slash Salter Harris one fracture. <laughs> and uh, he'll, he'll be fine, it'll heal up. It, whether it fractured or not, it's gonna heal up with this splinting and then seeing the orthopedic surgeon for more definitive evaluation and care. Hey, if you like videos like this, uh, we'd like you to go ahead and click over Ethan's face if you want to subscribe to the Auburn Medical Group channel so you don't miss videos like this. And you can click over here for other procedural videos that we do. We put them out twice a week. Hey, thanks for joining us. Be sure to put comments in this comment section below. Until next time, this is Ethan, Dr. Mark Vaughn telling you to stay in good health.